everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Cornelius Street by Taylor Swift on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn and make sure to subscribe to my channel that way you never miss out on another new video. In the backseat, drunk on something stronger than the drinks. So in this video, I will be specifically teaching how Taylor played this in her Live From Paris version instead of the album version, but they're very similar and you can play it either way using this tutorial. Um, but just keep that in mind that that's how I will be basing most of this tutorial off of. So to play this in the same key that Taylor did in her live performance, make sure your guitar is in standard tuning and go ahead and put your capo on the fourth fret. So beyond that, we only need to know five different chords to play through this song and none of them are bar chords. So it's gonna be really great if you're a beginner and two strumming patterns. So let's go ahead and go through an overview of what I'll be teaching you in this tutorial. So like I said, this song is going to require you to know five different chords. Those are G, D over F sharp, E minor seven, C add nine, and D suspended four. So if you're not familiar with any of these chords, it's okay. You can go ahead and go to this time here where I will you know, show you how to play them and things like that. Don't let the names of the chords discourage you. They sound kind of complicated, but they're actually really easy to play, so no worries there. But if you are already familiar with these chords, then we can move on to the strumming patterns that I like to use for this song. So the first strumming pattern I always teach in all of my tutorials is one down strum on the beat for every chord change. I normally refer to this as my practice pattern, but Taylor Swift does actually use this one down strum pattern throughout her performance. So we're gonna call this strumming pattern one. And so if you want me to go over kind of how that sounds and how you would use that in the song, then go ahead and skip to this time here so I can show that to you within the song. But if you don't think that you need to practice that and you wanna just move on, then that's perfect. We can go on to our second strumming pattern. So our second strumming pattern is a lot longer. As you can see, it's down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And it's gonna sound a little something like this. All right, so you're just gonna wanna take this strumming pattern and play it through one time for every chord change in the song. And so if you want me to kind of go through what that would sound like and break it down for you a little bit more and kind of go through it more slowly with you, go ahead and skip to this time here so that I can show you how you can use this in the song. But if you feel like you already got it just by listening to me play it a little bit, then go ahead and skip to the playthrough here at the end where I will put all of the chords and lyrics and everything you need to know on screen in front of you to play through the whole song. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the more in depth part of this tutorial and we'll start with the chords. All right, so let's take a closer look at these chords we need to know. Like I said, there are only five and we're gonna start with our G chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that we have another chord and I honestly couldn't figure out what the name of this chord is. I looked forever for it but I couldn't figure it out. So I'm gonna call it D over F sharp because that looks like the closest chord. Anyways, it looks like this and it sounds like this. So for the rest of the tutorial, I'm gonna call this chord D over F sharp, even though that might not be 100% what it actually is. Um, after that, we're gonna go into our E minor seven chord, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Then after that, we have our C add nine chord, which looks like this, and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is D suspended four, which looks like this and sounds like this. Now something else I do wanna point out about all of these chords, it's gonna be great if you're a beginner because notice how all of these chords, your pinky and ring finger are never gonna move. So we've got G, D over F sharp, E minor seven, C add nine, and D sus four. 
All right, so it'll be helpful for beginners who are practicing transitioning because you only have to worry about two fingers instead of all four. So just a little tip there in case uh, that's not something that you noticed. All right, so once you have those chords memorized, go ahead and take a few moments to practice transitioning between them. The song is pretty repetitive in the chord progressions that it goes through, so taking the time to practice those transitions right now is really gonna help you be able to get those strumming patterns and things like that later. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the strumming patterns that I like to use with this song. So like I said, the first strumming pattern I always like to teach in all of my tutorials is one simple down strum on the beat for every chord change. This is going to be strumming pattern one, and um, it's just a really great way to kind of get yourself used to the song. If you're brand new to guitar, it's a really great way to kind of get your feet wet with singing and things like that while you're playing. So let's go ahead and put our G chord on since that's the first chord in the song. And all I want you to do is do one down strum on the G chord, then you would switch to your D slash F sharp. Then we've got our E minor 7, one down strum. And then we've got our C add 9, one down strum. All right? And so you would basically want to take this through the whole song, go ahead and practice the singing and things like that to get used to where those chord transitions are going to be. That way it'll be helpful for when you jump into the next strumming pattern. So let me go ahead and show you a little example of what this would sound like in the song. I'm going to go ahead and start at the very beginning with my G chord on. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. D slash F, three, four. E minor, seven, three, four. C and nine. We were in the back seat, drunk on something stronger than the drinks in the bar. Three, four, two. I rent a place on Cornelia Street. I sit casually in the car. Two, three, four. C, two, three, four. All right, so that's just an example of what I want you to do. So if you're brand new to guitar, like I said, go ahead and take that for the entire song until you're used to where those chord transitions are going to be. But after you've done that, we can jump into our second strumming pattern. So as you can see, our second strumming pattern is a lot longer. It's down, up, up, down, up, up down, down, up. I know this is a lot longer, but don't let it intimidate you. We will be breaking this down a little bit more and you know, slowly easing into it, so you should be able to play this by the end of the tutorial. Let's go ahead and put our G chord on, since that's the first chord in the song, and I just kind of want to take you through the motions of this pattern, okay? So we've got down, up, circle your hand around, up, then we have another one just the same, down, up, circle, up, and then down, circle, down, so if you're a beginner, what I mean when I say circle is sometimes people are used to just strumming down, up, down, up, down, up like that, and it can be kind of hard for them to do a down strum by, followed by a down strum or an up strum followed by an up strum. So whenever you do that, you just kind of have to circle your hand around to get it ready in that position. So we've got down, up, and you have to circle to get back up, okay? So that's all I mean by the circle. It's something that you should practice if you're a beginner. But now that we got the motions down, let's go ahead and jump into the rhythm of this pattern. So let me play it for you once so you can go ahead and hear it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, down. All right, so why don't you guys put your G chord on and try that with me. I'll count us in and we just want to play this in rhythm now, okay? One, Two, one, two, three, four. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, up, down, down. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down. All right, great. So 
hopefully you got the rhythm in. Um, it will take a little bit of practice to get it at that speed, which is at tempo. So if you had trouble keeping up with me right then, go ahead and just pause the video and practice at your own speed until you can get it a little bit faster. But I am gonna go ahead and move on. So after you get the rhythm, what you wanna do now is put in those chord transitions. So let me go ahead and put that on screen for us so we can see what the chord transition is. And now, like I said at the beginning, we're gonna play this strumming pattern through one time for every chord, okay? So let's go ahead and practice that. Put your G chord on, and we're gonna do exactly what we just did. Let's play through it once. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Then you'd switch to your next chord, which is our D over F. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Then we've got our E minor seven. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Then C add nine. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. Very awesome. So once you've got the chord transitions in there, all you wanna do now is practice stringing them together without stopping. So let's go ahead and try that now with our G chord on. One, two, one, two, three, four. G, D over F, E minor seven, C add nine. Again. So again, if you weren't able to keep up with me at that tempo, no worries, just make sure to pause the video and practice at your own tempo until you can keep up. Um, but that is about the speed that I'm gonna go here at the end for the cover. I almost forgot, I do want to sneak in a little third strumming pattern for you. I was just playing through the cover at the end when I realized that she sometimes does this. So our third strumming pattern is just gonna be eight down strums and she'll only use this about twice during her cover. But sometimes when she's going from the pre-chorus into the chorus, she'll just hold a down strum on her um, chord progressions. So let me just show you really quick what that would be like so that you can do that in your cover if you want to do it the way she did. So specifically I'm doing this between the pre-chorus and the chorus. So let's go ahead and practice this going from our second strumming pattern leading into our third. So with my G chord on we've got just the strumming, strumming pattern two that we just practiced. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up. And then here on this C add nine, when you're going from the pre-chorus to the chorus, she'll just hold it down. Down, 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 down. All right, eight down strums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's super easy. You just wanna, if you want to put that into your cover, she does do that a few times. So sorry I forgot about it when I was doing the instruction part of this video, but that is something that she also uses. So feel free to add that in as well whenever you're doing your cover if you want to. But with that being said, let's go ahead and put all of this stuff that we learned together, the chords, the transitioning, the strumming patterns, put all of that together so we can play through the entire song. Again, I will have the chords and lyrics and everything you need to know on screen in front of you. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this City screams your name Baby I'm so terrified of if you ever walk away and never walk away. This is Cornelia Street by Taylor Swift. Good luck. Never ends. I never 
are Cornelia Street again That's the kind of heartbreak time could never mend I never walk Cornelia Street again And baby I get mystified by I never lose you Hope it never ends I never walk on the street again That's the kind of heartbreak I could never mend I never walk on the street again Baby, I get mystified by How this city screams your name I never lose you I never walk Cornelia Street again a place on Cornelia Street I sit casually in the car So that was my tutorial for Cornelia Street by Taylor Swift. I really hope that you liked it, and if it helped you, make sure to give me a thumbs up down below, as well as to subscribe to my channel and turn on that little bell notification. That way you never miss out on another new tutorial. Here are my social media sites in case you'd like to follow me on any of those. That's just where I do fun things like behind the scenes looks at things coming up. I'll poll you guys on things you want to see. I'll do an occasional giveaway. And this is also where I find people to feature in my new segment, Forever Features. This week we have Lynn from Vietnam playing Wildest Dreams by Taylor Swift. Let's give it a listen. So if 
you want to be featured in the next video, make sure to follow me on Instagram at xforeverfaithfulx, post a short cover of you playing any song that you've learned on any of my videos on my channel, and use that hashtag foreverfeatures in the description so that I can find it, and the next feature spot could be you. One last little plug, if you liked the shirt I was wearing in today's tutorial, this is my Forever Faithful guitar shirt. You can find this along with a lot of other designs in my merch store linked down below or also found under this video. Every purchase there really helps this channel to grow and allows me to continue making these free tutorials for you guys. So thank you so much to anyone who's ever supported me in that way. And I think that concludes this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. In the car.